So this is just a quick video on how to uh, balance charge in simple ionic compounds. Okay, so to balance charge um, essentially means we need to make sure that the ch overall charge equals zero. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you a few different methods. Depending on how you learn, you might find one um, method better than the other. Um, so I've got a bit more of a visual based one and a bit more mathematical based one. So we're going to look at the example of aluminium, okay, oxide. Okay. So aluminium, okay, is from group 13. So that has a plus three charge. Oxide comes from oxygen, which is in group 16, and that has a minus two charge. Now, when you look at this, it's not readily apparent what, uh, how many equivalents of uh, oxygen or the ratio of aluminium to um, oxide that you'll need. So the first example I'm going to go through is this hook and hole method, okay? So this is probably more if you're a bit of, of a visual learner, all right? So what this means is that for your cation, which is aluminium in this case, you're going to draw out a hole and one hole for every charge that you have. So in this case, we have three, all right? And oxide, we're going to use as a hook, all right? And we have one hook for every charge that we have. So in this case, we have O, two minus and aluminium three plus. And for this method, every hook needs a hole and every hole needs a hook. So in this case, we can pair up our hooks, but we've still got one hole missing, okay? So we need to add another hook, okay? So in this case, we have another two minus. So now we've got all of our holes patched up, but we've got a missing hook. So now we need to add in another lot of aluminium. All right. So now we can pair up that last hook of the oxi uh, oxide, sorry, but we've still got two holes missing in the aluminium. So if we add in another hook, okay, we can see here that we now have all the hook and holes have pairs. So now we just count up how many aluminium that we have. All right, so the aluminium, uh, atoms that we have is two, and the oxide we have three. So now we have a balanced, okay, ionic compound. So another one that um, I learned is um, what I call the lowest common denominator. So it's looking at the lowest common denominator between each of those charges to balance them out and make them zero. So aluminium has a plus three charge oxide minus two. So the lowest common denominator between three and two is six. So, sorry. So what this means is um, when I have a plus three charge, if I times that by two, that equals six. And if I times, uh, sorry, minus two by three, that gives me minus six. Okay. So those two cancel each other out. All right. So you just take this factors here and that gives you again um, how the ratio of atoms. So we've got aluminium 2, O3. Now this is what we call the crisscross method. And this is probably the easiest to see. So if we line up again aluminium 3 plus and O2 minus, what, what you may have picked up already is that the 2 up here ends up all right, as the ratio of aluminium atoms that we need, or aluminium ions that we need, sorry. And this ends up as the amount of oxygen, or oxide that we need, sorry. So we have aluminium two, three. So crisscross, so they move down to the opposite atom side. Okay, so that's just a quick, quick video on how to balance ionic compounds. If you're having problems, please see a tutor, all right, and uh, get some more information to make sure you understand this concept.